Hi folks, welcome to the final chapter in Shared Components and in this chapter I want to talk about working with Font Awesome. Let's take a look at our demo template and I'll show you what I'm talking about. There, I'm just going to whip right over to a demo page. You see these links? See the little icon displayed to the left of them? That's called Font Awesome. It's a Font Awesome icon. Very simple way to add cool little icons and effects to your page to really make the hyperlinks or the headings or any text in your page really stand out. Let's go to the bottom of the page for a second and we'll show you where it really stands out here is the quick links. We've got these great little icons. You notice these are bigger because they pick up on the font size that's being used. In this case we're using an H3 font size, a heading 3 font size, so the icon is naturally bigger to match. So there's some really great things you can do with Font Awesome, but it really helps to make the text, the headings, and the links on your web page stand out and actually identify what they're about. The little house icon, little email envelope, a you know, little person for the about our staff. Now, how do you go about working with this? There is something about Font Awesome that I love and something that's not so great. The not so great part is it doesn't work well in the design window of your web editor. You do need to jump into the code view to apply these and make sure that you don't knock them out of place as well in certain pages and certain situations. And I'll cover that in a second. Uh, but once that's said and done, once you get used to working with the Font Awesome icons, you'll find them easy to work with very cool because you can quickly add some great visual effects to new information that you add to your page. So let's jump into Dreamweaver and I'll just show you where the font awesome icons, how they work. Let's open up a library page and I'll open up the uh, text links as a good example. We'll open up the text links page. Font awesome, font awesome is applied or the icon is applied by using an I class we apply it right next to the text, right next to the word that's in the, the text, and we maybe leave a little bit of a space to give it a little bit of a gap, right? And we use an icon name. So we have icon dash and then the name of the icon. We can also apply or tell it if we want it to be a large icon. Uh, we can also add some additional information, which is we can give it a margin left or a margin right to give it a little bit more spacing. Now, if you want to remove the I class or the icon, you just simply go to the code, put your cursor on the word class here, go down to the quick tag selector and select the entire I class and press delete on the keyboard. That's one way. The other way is to select the opening and closing brackets and delete it. If you want to change it, you simply uh, change the icon name. Now we get into the fun stuff because Font Awesome is really cool, it's awesome, and it's also updated on a regular basis. Let's go to the Font Awesome website for a second. I'm just going to fire up my browser. I'm going to go to Font Awesome. The link is in the tutorial page, or you can do a Google search. Right? Once you get to the Font Awesome website, you can download a fresh package, and it will tell you right here which version uh, Font Awesome is at. Now the really cool thing about Font Awesome is it is updated on a regular basis. As a matter of fact, I would suggest that you probably go and update your package at least when you start building your template. The reason being is uh, it's updated so often we can't even keep up. Um, it's updated weekly or even more than that. Uh, from my experience. I've seen it updated a lot, which is great because new icons are added on a regular basis. However, that means it's probably a good idea to download a fresh package and just drag a couple of files into your site. To do that, simply hit the download button to download a fresh copy of Font Awesome. I'm just going to go to my desktop. There's the Font Awesome zip file. I will extract that zip file to create the folder or a new folder. And in that new folder, we see the Font Awesome folder. And what we want to copy into our website is just the CSS and the font folders. The other two we don't need. So if I go back to Dreamweaver and I just resize this down a little bit here, and I go into my Site folder and my Styles folder, and I expand my Font Awesome folder, I'll see that I have a CSS and a font folder here already. I just need to grab these two folders from my download, 
drag them over and drop them on top of the font awesome folder. Make sure that I get my overwrite message, yes to all. Great, I'm now updated. And what does updating mean? It means when you're looking for cool new icons, you can now go to the uh, icons page and use the cheat sheet or just scroll right on down to see what really cool icons they have available. There's lots of them, right? The cheat sheet sort of combines everything, makes it a little bit of a faster read. But for old eyes like mine, I think I prefer to use the uh, main page just to sort of see what there is, see what's available. Okay, this gives you by updating the Font Awesome package, it gives you access to all the newest icons. And you can update really as often as you like. Now, how do you add or, or change an icon that's already in your site? Well, what you can do, there's a couple of ways. Basically, you can just look at the name. For example, if you wanted to use this icon collapse here for something, you could just remember collapse, go into Dreamweaver. I'm going to expand this out a little bit here. I'm just going to undo my change where it says icon home, change to icon like so. You could type it in manually. That's one way. Another way you could change the icon is to, if you actually click on it, it takes you to the details page where you can actually just copy it. Right? You see this here, icon class? You can just copy that entire thing right there. Go back to Dreamweaver. Select the existing icon class, right? Or boom, like so. Edit, paste. There you go. Same sort of a thing. There's many different ways to do this. Um, typically, I like to be a little bit on the lazy side. I'll just double click on the word. So I see icon, and then it's hyphenated collapse. I just double click on it, copy it, go back in a Dreamweaver. I'll double click in the existing name, and I'll paste, just like so. That way it keeps it simple and easy. Now the same goes for a piece of text that does not have an icon applied to it already. Let's say for example we want to apply the uh, icon for Windows to a certain piece of text in our page. Well we can just go to the details page. We can grab the entire I class just by selecting it with our mouse, right? And we can copy it. Then we can go back to Dreamweaver and any single page we want. Let's say for example um, our website name, we wanted to apply an icon to it, which you can, and it looks pretty cool. Well, what you do is you would copy that particular icon class from the Font Awesome website. You go back to Dreamweaver, you find your text, and this is where working in the code view is very important. You cannot do this while in the design window. At least I haven't had any good success doing it in the design window. You may find a way that works. If great, let me know. I'll share it with the rest of the world. But for now, we copy that icon class, we paste it beside the, we find our, our text, right, which is usually displayed in black, put our cursor beside it, and then we just paste. So we have the H3, then we have the icon class, we have a bit of a space between the, the black text, website name, and the, the bracket here, or the brace, and we're just going to hit a couple of spaces there. Then we're going to hit save to update our site. And we'll take a look at that and see how it looks in our page in two seconds here. And there we go. We have our website name and there is our font awesome icon. As a matter of fact, if you didn't have a graphic logo, you could probably find something on the font awesome website that would work really well for you as a logo type image and simply apply it just like I've shown you here. Get rid of the graphic logo, use Font Awesome, it shows up very nice along with the text, it's the right size, it's big and bold, it works well.